just want to talk quick today about looking for blessings in hidden situations. Sometimes our blessings come hidden in circumstances that we'd rather not be experiencing. So it's true what they say, you know, every cloud has a silver lining, but it's our job to look for it. It may not be immediately apparent. So when I think back many years ago, I um, went through education and I wanted to go back to college. I'd left education, got into work. And it was very difficult at that point in time for me to leave work and go into education because I would have had no money. I wouldn't have been supported, had no parental support to do this. I couldn't call on the bank of mum and dad. And I really realised I should have been still further in education. I was academically minded and I hadn't appreciated that when I was at school. It hadn't been picked up on. So I'd left school and gone into work. So I was praying and praying and praying really for an opportunity to go back to college. And then nothing really happened. Then all of a sudden on my 21st birthday, actually on my 21st birthday, I was made redundant. I lost my job. And for a moment, you know, I was like, oh, oh gosh, you know, what am I going to do now? I've got no money coming in. But redundancy meant actually I could claim an employment benefit off the government in the UK for a short while and to get myself through that first year of college, which is what I did. Um, and that was really what changed things. And so many of the big blessings in my life have come from what could have been perceived as a real kick in the teeth, a real kick in the guts. But it's when I have embraced those things, that's when I've really moved the ball forward in my life. When I have held back and gone, oh, no, this isn't quite how I wanted. This is too painful and not looked for the opportunity. That's when I've made the mother of all ups in my own life. So within my life tends to come in huge challenges. And that may be, that may be true of you. It may be it comes in more subtle forms. I obviously have to be hit over the head with a large brick for it to sink in. So, you know, but look for when things are suddenly shifting and changing. Know that you can deal with it. And know often it's usually true that the universe is trying to send you some kind of opportunity and it's going, you need to go all in on this. This is what you need to be focusing your attention on. So in all those difficult situations, there are always blessings. Just try and shift your focus a little bit and see if you can find them. It could be that, you know, if the old adage says, as one door closes, another one opens. But unless we look around, we may not actually see the door that's closing. Don't go back to the one and try and wring the handle of the one that's shutting on you. That's not the way the universe wants you to go. It's about moving forward, letting go. So always look for the blessings, even when at the time you can't see any. They will come through. The light will fall back through to you and you will be able to see what's going on. I'm Faye Semple. I'm a spiritual business coach. I help women work with the soul of their business to create transformational offers for their clients that speak to their soul, that meet their needs. And when we work with the soul of our business, we unlock this inner genius in ourselves and it just makes everything so much better and so much easier and so much more profitable on the bank balance. So go out there and have a good week. Try talking to the soul of your business today and see what ideas it can come up with to help you. Take care.